I must say. Okay, this is take two. Uh, sometimes this happens. I'm taping and I just said a whole bunch of stuff. I even said some prayers and uh, all of a sudden it goes blank. Okay, much like my brain. So I'm going to start again. Okay, this is video has been already paid for um, by Luna, um, Luna Soul, Betsy, and I just want to, um, hopefully I can tune into all the, the, the questions that you asked me, and I just want to do my prayers first, so let's go. Okay, um, Archangel Michael. Uh, I am divinely protected at all times. Nothing negative or dark can come near me or the souls that I am trying to find or the, soul, the souls that I am reading on. Amen. Uh, only my angels and my spirit guides and the spirit guides of the people that I am reading for are allowed to come into my mind my third eye to my energy my spiritual team is God Jesus Mother Mary Lady Guadalupe mommy and daddy Shanann Gannon JJ Tylee Jonathan Sam Grace John Jonathan Lily and the nameless not all spirit guides are you gonna know their names okay you can just call them spirit guides or you could just call them your guardian angels Thank you. Okay, so uh, I am also reading on a Pisces, okay? And I believe her husband is an Aries. So I have a couple of things. Um, well, no, you know what? I'm just going to go in any order I want. I have some cards that I shuffled already because if you would see my setup, it's a hot mess and it, it's really hard. Um, I got to clean off my art table so that I can have my psychic table room um, and anyhow you didn't click on for that reason okay uh, I have a very low-key music on um, I might be changing it because music is really affects my readings and um, I had a third eye music on when I was meditating before this reading and it just was really violent it just really was strong so that being said um, let's get started okay so uh, the, I thought it was appropriate to have um, for your reading since you're a Pisces to do the mermaid because you are a mermaid Maid, okay, Pisces, water sign. So let me do these first. What messages do we have for Luna Soul? What messages do we have for Betsy? What messages do we have for Luna Soul? Spirit guides of Luna Soul. Please come forward. Thank you. Namaste. Yeah, I can't believe I was talking for five minutes and or a little bit under five minutes and the, the whole thing just the whole thing went off. So I don't know what happened. Messages from the spirit guides of Luna Soul Born Three Fourteen. What I'm laughing at is um, uh, this came up. Pregnancy card. <laughs> okay, but it's not necessarily pregnancy, um, but it could be, or it could be around you. Yeah. 
yeah, it could be you or around you. Um, okay, so put the old glasses on. Yeah, I'm not liking this music, so I will change it. And sorry if I'm distracted. I spent the whole day trying to prepare for the reading, and I was working at it and making blueberry muffins, and I'm a big procrastinator, so just forgive me. Okay, one second, one second. Shanann. Shanann came up. <laughs> That's funny. Hi, Shanann. Are you trying to tell me that you're here? I feel you. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna basically put this back on. From idea to oh, sorry. To building it too, we have applied sorry, sorry. And that hey, let's have a Mail toast. <laughs> Isn't this a cool? Anything is easy. A cool glass. I got it from the air, airplane. Um, you know when you order a glass of wine, and it's actual glass, right? So what happened was after the second one, or maybe the third one, came around. Um, I decided to take the, I said this little glass will be really awesome to have when I get to my sister's apartment in New York so Staten Island New York so I had to be very careful so you had to order another one it's eight dollars well back then it was so I'm talking about circa 2018 or 2019 was the last time I went there I don't even know if I was there in 2019 um, anyhow so I ordered this little baby and then I ordered another little baby because usually she would come and take the glass but I wasn't finished with it so that's when you order it you give it the credit card and then uh, I was like oh I'm not done yet but I want another one and uh, I'm really nervous or was I and no I was I was by myself and I was I was nervous and I don't take um, Xanax on airplanes anymore because I'm by myself, so I have to have my wits about me, because, you know, you gotta get through the airport, gotta get through two airports. Anyhow, um, so I ordered the second one, or the third one, and she just, like, was busy and forgot about asking me for the old glass back, so I gave her the second glass back, but I had already had the, oh, uh, the third glass back, whatever it was, but I took this baby, and I, um, Actually, I might have taken two glasses, uh, and I left one in my sister's apartment so that I always have it there, and then she can remember me by it. But it's so perfect. It's really small. I know it looks big, but it's really small. Okay? Cheers, anyway. I know you didn't care about that story, but... I'm drinking batch wine just in case anybody wanted to know. Oh, I just happen to have it available right here. Circa 2018. <laughs> I just figured I didn't want to be distracted and go and have to go into the kitchen to get to refill my glass because I wanted to be here for your reading. Anyhow, all right. So Limara, Limoria returns. Earthly spirituality, community, ocean, conservation. Okay, what does all that mean? All right, it has to do with feeling part of a community. And <clears throat> when I see this card, uh, it reminds me of the Empress card. So it might mean, Luna, that you're thinking a lot about how you can give back to the community or how you can make your family part of another family. Um, or make your family bigger, or just feel like you're connected uh, to the community and to other people, okay? Um, and just from like the, yeah, okay, because the other card that I got was this one, and the mermaid, this is the mermaid deck, by the way, of course, a uh, duh, <laughs> I think I said that, um, and this is time out, awareness, contemplation, solitude, alone time. Now, I feel like you've had a lot of alone time, all right? You've been thinking over something 
over and over again. You're getting ready to end this hermit time, this hermit phase, and get back into the community and um, get back into feeling a part of something, feeling a part of like extending yourself to others because that's how we feel a part of something by helping by um you know making friends making relationships and so this is showing you um feeling good about the uh solitude and sometimes you kind of get in a rut where you just make you box yourself in with just you and your family or you and your one other significant other um don't get me started on significant other again, that word. Um, but what I'm feeling is it's time to sp spread your wings again and get out. Okay. Pisces aren't, Pisces are having a good year, but they don't know it yet. Okay, um, they don't 100% feel it. They feel it a little bit. Um, there was a job opportunity that came and went, and it got you very down. Um, or it, it could have been like a start of something, and then it, it just fizzled out. It didn't go anywhere, not to the place that you wanted. But like I said in your reading back in March, um, and if you don't remember that reading, you could always go back to my library of videos and look for Pisces 2021. Um, it said that don't worry if you didn't get that job opportunity or that start that you wanted because something better is coming for you. Your guides are setting something up for you that's much better. Then you got the crane bag. Um, sacred ocean medicine, clutter, declutter, and choice. Okay. When I see this card, what I get from it, I mean, it has a whole litany of things in the book, but, uh, do you see me using the book? I don't want to use the book. Sometimes I do, but it gives me a migraine and it kind of blocks me from what the spirit guides want me to say because they don't even want me to use cards. Okay? They're trying to fix me to not use cards and go to that step where I just sit here and have a conversation. But I like, I'm an earth sign, I like the physical cards, I like to feel them. And so when I see this card, and in combination with the other cards that I picked for the mermaids, I see you building something. This is also creating something, waiting for it to be born. Waiting for, it, if it's not a baby, it's an idea. Um, it's a creation, it's a side business, or it's a school. It's um, wanting to uh, start something new. And, yeah, don't forget to mention the career. Um, yeah, it's a, don't beat yourself up about one career that you had or jobs that you were into that kind of didn't work out for you or you just fell out of love with it. Um, you're not passionate about it anymore, but there is something new that you want to learn and train for. And that is much better because that's your spirit guides been trying to tell you, yes, go to something different, try something new. And what should it be? Uh, let it come to you. All right. Whether it's in medical, whether it's for some reason I heard massage, um, it's definitely something giving up your own talents to somebody else trying to heal people and use your psychic ability all Pisces are extremely psychic okay and a lot of Pisces are have their own YouTube channel um, doing readings so if you're not doing that you don't want to do that that's okay but you can use your psychic ability in your everyday life in helping people if you could take your ego out of it and that takes away your worries and just push push yourself into what did I want to do a long time ago I see two careers I see forked a forked road um, and you went down one like you went down road a and midway you were like oh my gosh this is not for me but I have to keep up doing it because I went to school for it or I got trained for it and I don't see any other jobs out there 
Now you're going, you're about to start road B, okay? Um, so that could be why she's getting ready to give birth, but she's still nurturing the dream, nurturing sacral chakra, which is orange or peach, um, nurturing that idea, that side hustle that you want to do, that side business that you want to do, or a new job, okay, or school, okay? You're going to do it. You're gonna, you will do it. Uh, take out the negativity. Take out um, Pisces. A lot of times Pisces have all these great ideas. They have A through Z on, on ideas on Monday. Then on Tuesday, they have maybe A through H. By Wednesday or Friday, they're like, I can't do any of them. They got themselves overwhelmed. Okay, so I do that too. It's human nature. But maybe focus on A, B, and C and write it down. And that was another thing that kept coming up. Uh, write down your ideas. Write down, keep a journal. Start journaling if you're not journaling already. Usually Pisces are, are very good writers and very prol prolific. Um, so start writing down things that you want to do and maybe just almost like they just showed me a Venn diagram um, do I have a pen yes I do okay hold up is the teacher in me the teacher in me always has to do this okay So this is you, Luna is in the middle, like you used to do in school, right? Um, you're in the middle, what is it that you like, okay? So one thing might be, I'm just saying for example, one thing might be medical, one thing might be uh, psychic stuff, another thing might just be stuff with the community, like a community activist type of stuff, I don't know. Uh, but write, write out what is the first four things that come to you if somebody said to you, you can have this dream job tomorrow. Like even if it was, I'm just writing this, acting on TV, acting on TV. Like somebody said, I'm going to give you this and you, it's your wish come true. What would it be? What's the four things, that areas that you would like to go into? Okay, what would you like to study? All right? And once you do that, you're starting to manifest because they will, like, make sure you tell it to manifest more. Try to really um, visualize exactly what she wants to happen, not what she doesn't have. Okay? Okay. Um, yeah, so they were telling me that. So try to push yourself in manifesting more. Okay. What else did you want to tell me about the crane bag? Okay. With the crane bag, um, I take this as don't forget. It's like she's holding this one bag full of things that are important, but there's a whole ocean full of things that she has at her disposal. So you have so many things that you have uh, you have your family that loves you. You have um, your education that you've already completed. Anything, even if it's just high school and one year of college, whatever it is, any kind of training. Um, and think about you have a home. Think about all the things that you do have. You have a car. Whatever it is that you do have, think about that. Don't just think that you just have this one little bag of stuff that's good when you have the whole ocean. at your disposal. Okay, and the last mermaid card that I got is energy field adjustment, aura cleansing and health. It's about your health, I'm gonna tell you. Okay. You know when you go to work or you go to school or you go to um, even, you know, like a party, a family party or whatever it is, and 
Yeah. You meet somebody, and they're so negative. And they talk to you, and you're trying to talk to them, or you just, you know, happen to be cornered, and you're listening to them. Uh, their energy, their aura comes off of them and goes on to you. So you leave the party, and you just feel terrible. You just feel like negative. You went to the party and you were positive with the family get together and you were positive and you were happy. But then you go home and you're negative and you feel down and a little bit depressed. Somebody's, you're an energy magnet. Somebody's aura and energy got attached to yours. It happens to me all the time. It happens to every, every, anybody who's an empath. Okay? You have to learn to control that and maybe not go around that toxic people because you absorb it like a magnet. And um, the ways to clean it is sage, white sage. The ways to clean it is drink um, clear water. As you're visualizing goodness coming into you, okay? Uh, especially Pisces, ways to clean it is take more spiritual baths. Um, when I say spiritual bath, I mean you light a candle with an um, with a manifestation. Like I'm take I'm lighting this candle to clear all negative energy and to make me relaxed and clean my aura. It could be that. It could be just I light this candle to um, bring in love and light and peace to me. Um, and then you go into the water. Sometimes you could pour a little milk in the water that cleans your aura. Um, but the water is really important, even if you just want to take a shower. Um, Pisces uh, get their energy clear and cleansed with spiritually and metaphysically with the water. Um, your aura will be okay again. And you could do it by just saying a prayer too. Uh, please, dear God protect me from any negative energy um, and help me to think positively and help me to take my ego out of things and have um, my ma manifest my dreams come true. Thank you, dear God. Thank you, spirit guides. Okay? It's very, very simple, but a lot of people won't do it because they're like, oh, that won't work. That's just too simple to work. Oh, you're saying if I take a bath, everything's going to, you know, be fixed. Well, you know, not everything will be fixed, but that negative energy that clung to you when you're at work and somebody's negative or just even um, you felt negative. Um, you started to think of all the bad things that could go wrong. Okay. You have to cleanse that aura, cleanse your aura from it. Okay. And you could fix it that way. Um, in terms of health, <laughs> It's, it's weird because I got from, I wrote it down. Where is it? From teeth to toes. Okay. Um, it's everything in your mind, um, then your teeth. I even felt a little pain in the ear. But you have to be careful that you don't have an abscess or you need a crown or maybe it's just a cavity. So just be careful you're not eating at night and not f forgetting to brush your teeth or using the mouthwash um, because uh, something might be going on with the tooth. Okay, so, um, and then in terms of your toe, uh, be careful with your, uh, something you might be allergic to some kind of toenail polish when you get a pedicure or even you putting it on yourself and something to do with a, like an infection with the toe okay and I'm pretty sure yeah some water signs is it the feet I think Pisces might rule the feet I think they might rule the feet but just be careful with the skin on your on your toes um, like in terms of fungus and that that like you know screwing up uh, your feet you might just become allergic to a certain nail polish or maybe somebody wasn't so clean and giving you the pedicure but just be careful with that you put tea tree oil on it you can find it in CVS or Walgreens 
you just paint it right on your on your uh, the skin that might be funny um, yeah but the, they're going head teeth toes okay so be careful with that um, in terms of your head um, are you getting migraines lately a lot of migraines um, and if you are of course you know go to your doctor um, but it might be with any kind of migraine it might be from some kind of thought that you had and you're not expressing it enough uh, or maybe you're expressing it too much and then it's staying with you if it's a negative one like mem remember what I just said a couple of minutes ago about losing hope um, and just staying in the negative and thinking like oh I don't have you know A through Z completed and I really thought I would Everybody is backed up because of the pandemic. Everybody is affected that way. But now it's going to start to lift. It's going to start to feel a little bit better, a little bit easier. And you have to be responsible for the thoughts that you're thinking. If you want something good to happen, if you think a bad thought, you think the good things are going to happen? No. You have to have the positive thoughts to manifest. You have to do your moon moonshine water, okay? Um, if you're not sure what that is, that's where you, um, pour into a, you pour yourself a glass of water. I put mine in, and I think a positive thought, what I want to happen, and I don't put it in the windowsill until I feel like it happened already. And then I put it in the windowsill after the moon and the sun went on it, like for a day. Some people just drink it right down, and you can too. Um, but I just do it a different way. And then I drink it, and I usually have my candle lit. And then whatever you try to manifest, you can write it on a little sticky note, keep it on the uh, jar or the water. And as you're drinking, know that it's happened. Know that it's true. It could be a simple thing as, uh, I'm going to start back to school, and there's not going to be any kind of worries, um, I'm going to have enough money, I'm going to have, I'll be successful in the program, and everything will go smoothly, people will be helpful, and drink it down. Or it could be as complicated as I'm going to move to a new state, and everything will work out in terms of the money, and in terms of the uh, moving part, and it will be stress-free. Okay, so... Um, yeah, so I think I, I think I'm done with these cards, with the mermaid cards. Maybe I'll just pick one more. I have several cards. Okay, just one more card for Luna Soul. One more card for Luna Soul for the mermaids, please. Thank you. One more card for Luna Soul. Thank you. It's hard to see me shuffle. And I got a light a Palo Santo. Ooh. Air. Is this you and your significant other? Okay. Hold up, hold up. I already went through a lot of sage already. Because when I meditate beforehand, I have to light it. It always helps me. Just do with that card. Hold up, hold up. That totally did not light right. It's okay. Alright. Here it is. Okay. 
So this is air breathing deep, entering into life, exchange of life, bringing energies. And what I just felt from it, I always give you what I feel, might not necessarily match with the book. That's okay, because I'm not a book. Okay, um, a person, an empath. I think that you're gonna be relying, I'm getting that you might rely more on your significant other, your husband, um, a little bit more than usual, and that's okay, because I think he's the Aries, he's a fire sign, and they have very good ideas. You are opposite because he's fire and you're water, okay? Um, so sometimes he might not understand your creativity um, and your time that you need to kind of like make sense in your mind because you're a different type of thinker than a fire sign. A fire sign is like A through, a through H um, and a, a Pisces or a water sign goes up and down, you know, and, um, I think maybe I'm a, I'm a water sign somehow, okay, <laughs> even though I'm an earth sign, um, but somehow you guys, I, I feel like he's going to be getting into some kind of business, or he has an idea about some sort of business, um, why my Palo Santo is not lighting correctly. It really isn't. It's getting me annoyed. Alright, I'm not even gonna blow it out. I'm gonna wait. Okay. Be patient. Okay. Yeah, so you're gonna be relying on him and other people in general. You're coming out of your hermit phase. And even though you might be want to stay in that hermit phase, you're going to notice that a lot of people that you're surrounded by, they're not going to want to stay on the home base so much. They're going to want to go. And you do have plans to go and travel. And um, I believe it will happen. It's... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit of a start stop stop and start but spring is supposed to be very good for you that telling me spring is your time yeah uh, aside from the headaches and be careful of your teeth and your toe your, your teeth and toes um, as long as they're saying as long as she gets out her feelings and um, don't do it in a 